my name is Andrea and I'm an engineer at Oceanit and today I'm going to be doing some electrolysis which is a fancy word for splitting water. So in a water molecule you have H2O and what this process does is it takes H2O and makes it H2 and O2. So for every one oxygen you get two hydrogen and we'll see what that looks like on our electrodes. So right now in front of me I have some water and I have some salt and I'm going to mix the salt and the water because it increases the conductivity. So next I'm going to connect the electrodes. These are just two pipes and you can use metal or graphite, anything conductive. Fun fact, copper is one of the most conductive metals. On them I have written plus and minus, which is going to coordinate with this battery that I have. It's a nine volt battery with a plus and minus port. And that is what I'm going to connect using some wire. So red is positive and black is negative. This is a nine volt battery but the voltage it takes to split water is actually 1.23 volts. So I'm going to take one of my electrodes and hook up the wire for the negative. I'm going to put it in the water. And just to be safe, I'm going to tape it back so that the two electrodes don't hit when they're in the water. Next, I am going to take the positive electrode and hook that up to my positive wire and put it on the other side of this container. So that's that. We got all that set up. So now, Completing the circuit uses this battery. We've got our positive and our negative. On the cathode, which is the name for the negative terminal or electrode, which is the black one, you're getting hydrogen. And on the anode, which is the positive terminal or electrode, you're getting oxygen. So since there's two hydrogen and one oxygen per molecule of water, you're going to get twice as much hydrogen as you are oxygen which is why the hydrogen evolution, as we call it, is twice as fast. And you can see it a lot more. So what happened was we have a positive and negative terminal and electrochemistry has a lot to do with charges and how chemicals react to those charges. In this case, our chemical is water. So oxygen likes going to the positive terminal because the negative charges are attracted to positive and repelled by the negative. Whereas hydrogen is going to the negative terminal because hydrogen is positive and it's repelled by the positive. Which is why when it was forming the bubbles, you always have only hydrogen on one side and only oxygen on the other which makes it a great separation technique. 